Hi, I'm Bill's sister, Sandy. My brother was the most graceful person I have ever known. Physically, certainly, he had such style, from his days in Little League to the Chicago Marathon, from learning to throw a boomerang on our trip to Australia when he was 15, to tossing toys to Casper on the dog beach in Evanston. Casper, by the way, bears an uncanny resemblance to his favorite stuffed animal when we were kids, Spotty, little dog, who we elected mayor of the stuffed animals when we were little. I picture Billy leaping horizontally into Lake Erie in the summer to catch a vortex thrown by one of the boys, or tangoing with Maureen across the dance floor. But he was graceful in so many other ways as well. As we all can attest, you always knew he was there to support you in any circumstance, and to gently nudge you along if you needed it. He had such a marvelous way of connecting with people. He and my husband Bill hit it off right off the bat, and he was such a fantastic uncle to our sons, Tom and Bob. His wry sense of humor always came zinging out at a sly angle, with the silly uh, who wants to be a millionaire voicemail messages, or the packages that would come in the mail from Anderson Barajan or Omar Vizquel. Last year, when our mother was very ill, Billy was barely out of the hospital himself from his third surgery when he jumped in the car, came to Cleveland to help care for her. He composed and delivered the stunningly beautiful eulogy, which is quoted on the front of your program today. The way that he faced his cancer was remarkably forthright and so graceful, never sugarcoating, but going on with life as normal as much as possible. That was his gift to all of us. One of my mom's friends observed this week that our family has a great tradition of togetherness. We were a terrific team, working side by side with him, learning sailing lessons at Lakeside, or moving my mom with all her artwork into a new apartment, seemed effortless and smooth. What I wanted was for us to grow old side by side, maybe to be sitting on a bench at Lakeside watching the sunset with a few grandchildren playing on the lawn, that was not to be. Instead, I am grateful for every minute that we had. And all too soon, we must say adios.